Amen. Glory to God. Let's give thanks unto God. He is worthy. He's exalted. He's magnified. He's glorified. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. There is no one like unto him. We bless the name of the Lord. All right, we give God the praise. Father, as we go into your word and understand it, we receive light, we receive illumination. And as we confess the word also, thank you because you confirm our words with signs following. Our high priest, the high priest of our confession. Yes, we receive your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Please, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, click the like button. Share from that place. All right. It helps to spread the message. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is that this month of August, God wants us to reach out to people in depression around us. And those who are not saved, use that to bring them to salvation and to the koinonia. Those who are saved but are not in the koinonia, to use that also to help them to come into the koinonia. Depression deforms, kills. You know, people have committed suicide because of depression. And all kind of things have happened because of depression. I'm going to read, you know, um, some symptoms that are the symptoms that um, shows that somebody is going through depression. And if you are going through depression, all right, you have to um, reach out. Okay, you have to reach out. You have to reach out. You have to reach out. Reach out to us. We are willing, all right. If you are not on any of our WhatsApp platform, we'll put the number on the screen for the first time comers or the number I tell you to share your testimony and send a message there. We're going to try and attend to you, all right. But this is the key to depression from the scriptures. Give thanks and rejoice. That's the key. How do we use it? I have a very special prescription. You wake up in the morning. From that time you wake up, every hour set an alarm. Give thanks for whatever, whatever you can see that you have. Whether you think it's God that gave it to you or not, just give thanks. Father, I thank you for life. I thank you that I can speak. I thank you that I woke up. I thank you that I can walk. Whatever you have, give thanks. And do it every hour. Unless you are busy doing something else, you know. But every hour, if you are, even if you are at work, once it's that dot of the hour, just pause for one minute or 30 seconds and just give thanks. And continue doing that. Keep the attitude of thanksgiving. I tell you, in 10 days, it can break the hold of depression. Okay? It can break the hold of depression. Another key to depression is the koinonia. If you come consistently into the presence of your father, that you could be broken. Because in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Koinonia is a master key for so many troubles, so many horrors, sickness, affliction. Just keep coming there. His presence will dissolve it. It will destroy it. So if you're going through it, you can come out. All right, by doing what I've said. If you see these symptoms I'm going to read out now in the lives of people around you, please reach out to them. Don't let depression destroy them. Depression can deform a person. A good person can become a horrible person just by going through that process of depression. Depression can stop a life, can stop an entire destiny. In fact, it can affect a generation because somebody stops, somebody shifted, and somebody drifted into something else, and a whole generation is affected. So help somebody around you. And let's use it to bring them to salvation, those who are not saved. Bring them to koinonia for those who are saved. All right? Bring them to salvation or koinonia, those who are not saved. And bring them to koinonia, those who are saved. All right? This month, that's our theme. Now, what are the symptoms? The symptoms are very simple. All right? When you see anyone are going through a feeling of sadness and emptiness, you constantly, you see that that person's liveliness is gone. Talk to them. See, I notice you're not as alive as you used to be. I hope you're fine. You know, sometimes they want to hide, but that's why the first thing is that once you notice this symptom, pray for them. Pray and break the hold of depression. Pray against the powers of darkness that are trying to destroy that life. Pray for them first. Because when you say, how are you? I believe you're fine. I notice this. I hope everything is fine. When you do that, they will first of all want to withdraw, then they will open up if you have prayed for them. If you have not prayed for them, they may withdraw and just, you know, want to keep it private. But if you have prayed for them, one powerful thing when you pray for people is it makes them open up to you. 
That's what it does. They themselves will not know why. They'll just say, I don't know even know why I'm sharing my, my deep thoughts with you. I don't know you so much, you know, but I just feel like I should open up to you because you have been praying for them. That's why. All right. So you see somebody that's going through emptiness or feeling of sadness. All right. The second symptom we have here is reduce interest in activities that used to enjoy. The activities they used to enjoy, they are, no, they are no more interested in those things. That's a sign of depression. When somebody begins to lack energy and is in constant fatigue, the person is always tired, always tired. That's a sign of depression too. Irritability. You understand? Yes, everybody has some has things that irritate them. But you now notice that this person's irritability is going overboard. That's a sign of depression. All right? Pain or other physical changes. Somebody may have physical changes on their face. You know, you might notice that they, are, yeah, they used to have bright skin, but now their skin is growing darker. You may find out what's going on. We notice this. I hope you're fine. I'm just concerned. I'm praying for you, you know. And if they open up, that's the opportunity to reach out to them, to minister to them. Bring them to Christ and to koinonia. If they're not saved, if they are saved, bring them to the koinonia. The koinonia will break that hold. Pray for them also because the prayer of faith will save them, all right? Then sleep disorder. Sometimes people have sleep disorder. So you just notice that that person comes around you, but the person is now always sleeping. You know, one day, ah, you, you're not like this. So what's happening? What's going on? All right. Loss of appetite is another symptom. All right. Lack of concentration is another symptom. You know, sometimes people want to do something and they sit down. And what they used to do in 15 minutes, they are struggling to do it in three hours because they can't concentrate. Depression makes you to lose concentration. You know, thoughts of death and suicide sometimes begin to come to people. And sometimes they come to you and say, I don't know why I'm, I'm having thoughts of death and suicide. That's a sign of depression. Why? Because they are frustrated. And sometimes people give themselves to abuse, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, you know, why? Because they are trying to remove their emotions. They are, they are trying to, sorry, relieve their emotions of the pain they are going through. And sometimes slowness in thinking, uh, these are all signs. Look out for these signs. Help somebody. God wants us to reach out to them and also use that opportunity to bring them to Christ and to the koinonia. And I pray God will give you grace. Receive strength. We're going to post this on our WhatsApp platform. So look out for those things. Pray for them first. That's the first thing. Before you ever discuss, pray. Pray. Look out for them. And if you are going through this, I've told you the solution. All right. And that's the solution you're sharing with them too. Get into thanksgivings. And be consistent with the koinonia. It will break the pressure. And today I declare, anyone going through depression that is live on this platform now or, or later, I command the hold of depression to be broken off your life. Now, in the name of Jesus, the Satan that is behind it, I bind you, foul spirit. I cast you out. The Bible said you shall not exact upon the children of God. Your exaction stops now. And your hold is broken now in the name of Jesus. And we declare you are free from it. You are delivered from it. And if you are watching and you are alive right now and you are not yet a child of God, say this simple prayer. The offer to be his child is an offer to come and partake of divine things. That's what it is. That's what it is. Come and party. Come and be part of us. That's what they are giving you. And it's an offer. All right. Take it. What does it do for you? It makes you to become a child of God. So angels protect you. Creations work for you. Why? Because they are creations of God. They are part of God's host. All right. Then you have the opportunity to partake in the fellowship of your father, the word and the Holy Spirit. And in that fellowship, you have, come, you have opportunity to hear your father, to hear them, to receive instruction, direction for life. You have opportunity to share in their potency, wisdom, innovation, strategy. You have those things. You will have all, I mean, all manner of blessings are there. In the koinonia, you are invited there. That's where they want you to be. But you have to start by accepting the offer. You have to become part of your family. If that's your decision this morning, then say this simple prayer with all your heart. And that changes the thing. It changes you. You become born into their family. Say this prayer. Say, Father, I believe in this offer and I accept your offer to be your child and to come and partake in your fellowship, your koinonia, the fellowship of you, the word and the spirit. I accept this offer this morning 
I believe Jesus Christ went to the cross, took my sins, died in my place, died for my sins. I believe also that he was raised from the dead so I can have the opportunity to be born into your family. I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. So today, I accept you and declare you as my Lord and my Savior. I accept salvation. I accept the new birth. I am born of God. I am born again. Father, thank you for giving birth to me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you said that prayer, something has happened to you. You are blessed. And the hold of Satan is broken off your life. And you will excel. You will grow in the faith. In Jesus' name. What do you do? Start praying. In the morning, wake up and ask your father for whatever you need. He will give it to you. All right? And then in the night before you sleep, ask him also for protection. He will give that to you. Then create a special time that is just for your father. You don't come to ask for anything at that time. In that time, worship and read your Bible. That's where you start from. All right? And then you will grow in the faith. Start from the book of Matthew. Read a chapter every day, at least. Or a chapter in the morning, a chapter in the evening. Okay? That's how to start. And you will grow in the faith. The Lord will bless you abundantly. Now, I want us to quickly look at um, the word today. And then we'll use that to go into confession. All right? This is the, really our study today. The one I've done now is for evangelism. <laughs> we all have to reach out. All right? Let's get in there and help somebody. All right? And it may not, it's not just uh, depressed people. We're reaching out to everybody. But depression is our theme this month. We want to reach out to everyone that is in depression around us. All right? And the Lord will bless you as you do in the name of Jesus. All right. We've been looking at um, the wisdom and the dominion of Lemuel. Lemuel. The wisdom of Lemuel. The wisdom and the dominion of Lemuel. And today... Um, I will just read out. It's, it's, it's here. Okay, good. It's here. All right. So the wisdom and the uh, uh, dominion of Lemuel. And I said that the wisdom and dominion of Lemuel has to do with identity. It's all about identity. Identity. Knowing who you are and living who you are. Knowing who you are and living who you are. Last week we saw, I mean, the first um, well, uh, study on this, we saw that we are saints. Saints, it's not until you die that you become a saint. You become a saint the, the day you give your life to Christ. Those of us who accepted the offer to be children of God now, you have become a saint. Who is a saint? A sacred person. Who is a sacred person? One that is set apart for holy use, set apart for God's use only. That's a sacred person. Then last week you we saw that we are gods. Gods not to be worshipped, but gods wired to partake in the koinonia. Because we are now family of God. So we are gods in wiring. So we can partake in the koinonia. So we can rule and have dominion on that. That's who we are. Today we are seeing that our identity is also that we are kings. We are kings. We are kings. We are kings. Because of time, let me just read the text scripture and just I'll just paraphrase everything that's in the devotional. Re Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and uh, first begotten from the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto whom uh, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood verse 6 and has made us kings and priests unto our god the father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen he has made us kings you are a king you must not forget that and god has set dominion for you jesus first did this job of conquering all the realms that's why it came in matthew 28 verse 18 all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me he conquered all the realms paul said in ephesians in chapter 4 in verse 8 9 10 he said who what is it he said that he ascended he descended for us to ascend he said why did he ascend descend for us to ascend Conquer all realms. He descended first to hell and then ascended up to heaven and conquered all realms. So heaven, earth, under the earth, hell, 
spirit, physical, all realms were conquered by Christ. And he put his throne everywhere. He took the throne of David because the Bible says, scepter shall remain with Judah until Shiloh comes. So Judah produced kings. David was the first king from Judah. And then David's throne was established forever. So his children became the kings under Judah. And then they were to hand over the scepter to Shiloh. Shiloh is Christ. And of the increase of the government and the reign of Christ, the Bible said there shall be no end. So he went ahead and established that. He conquered Oreb, put his throne everywhere. Psalm 122 said the, 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 the thrones of the house of David. So there are many thrones now, not one throne, many, many thrones. So he put thrones in every territory, every city, every village, every town, every area, every jurisdiction. He put thrones in every field, in, in scientific field, in engineering, in AI. He put thrones everywhere. Why? He wants you to sit on those thrones and have dominion. Why? You are a king. You are a king. So where do we reign? We reign in the areas where we live. We reign in the areas where we work. Yes, physical jurisdiction. Where we live, where we work, we reign there. That's your dominion. You must take charge. You must take charge. Then number two, you reign in the fields of your talent. You have talent, you reign in that field. Yeah, you reign in the fields of your assignment. What's your assignment? What's your purpose? In that area, you reign. If your purpose is to preach love, if your purpose is to advance uh, 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 the legal industry in Nigeria and take it to another level, if your purpose is to advance uh, things in, 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 in robotics, whatever your purpose is, you are a king in that area, all right? Then any area you have skill, you have skill in fixing electronics, you are a king in that industry. You are a king, any area you have skill. You went to school, you studied biochemistry, so you have skill with chemicals, now you are a king in that industry too. You, are, you, are, you study pharmaceuticals, you have become a king in the pharmaceuticals, all right? You might be just one beginner somewhere in a pharmacy shop, you know, but you are a king in that industry. You can legislate, you can decree, you can make things happen. You are a king, all right, in all these areas. And the important thing to go with, which I was preaching yesterday, there's even a sermon on that, you'll get it. On the platforms, they have the audio sermon. Now, every king rules and reigns by decrees. Your word become law. Kings reign by decrees. They don't reign by begging. Begging doesn't work for kings. You have to learn that. You have to open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. That's how it works. Say with me. Say, Father, I decree today. I am a king in all the areas where you have empowered me. I'm a king where I live. I'm a king where I work. I'm a king in the fields of my talent and gift. I'm a king in the fields of my purpose. I'm a king in every industry where I'm skilled. I'm a king in every place and industry where I work. I'm a king in this world. I rule by decrees. I decree today that all things are working together for my good. I've gone out blessed. I've come back blessed in the name of Jesus. I've been in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, obtaining my harvest. In the name of Jesus, I decree, I am blessed and power to pro prosper. I am favored. I am protected. I live in health, for by the stripes of Jesus I've been healed. I am the rich in the name of Jesus. I decree, I am holy, for my Father is holy. I am love for my father is love. I am humble. I am meek for my father is meek and humble. In the name of Jesus, I declare today, I have an in that fellowship and access to the father. I enjoy his voice. I engage his presence. I may carry of God's presence in Jesus name. So in 30 seconds, decree how you want today to be. Decree, 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 decree. In the name of Jesus, I'll pray for you in tongues. Open your mouth and decree now. To Katia, to Shepiame, a Rico Fia Pesco Tan to Columbe, Rica Papuscufia Pesco Dakaya, and Niketsko to Pemico, 
Rafa Koshkaskia Seniente, Seniente Tapepe Kodufra, Aposcuriata, Jean Toshkapambo Kodufri, Impopukotaka, Erepes Kofiwas. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your help today. Thank you for your strength today. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. We need you to do that on YouTube, on Facebook. You know, the like button, click like, click share, and then help somebody to join this broadcast even after we, we are off, <laughs> off here. All right. Because it will still be there and it's still life, it's still potent. All right. Mm -hmm.